Hi everyone, it's Jack Bauer another video. Today I'm going to be talking about Intel. Obviously an extremely embattled business that was once one of the giants in the semiconductor industry and still by revenue and influence it probably still is. It's fell behind a long way from TSMC and Samsung in terms of technology. In terms of market cap, it's below even its, one of its key competitors AMD now at just $125 billion. A couple of weeks ago it saw multi-year lows of under $25 for the stock. It's bound out, bounced back around 20%, so if you bought then you're quite happy. Recently, I had to decrease its dividend, now just a 1.67% yield. I can see this going down even further because they're so desperate for the cash right now with such large CapEx incoming. I want to analyze this business. CEO's under a lot of pressure, so I want to analyze the management team a bit, determine how they're doing on this turnaround plan and whether this could be a buy at any time in the future. So the headlines of the quarter... $11.7 billion in revenue, that's down 36% year over year, but was 6% above the January outlook they gave, 38.4% gross margin, that's down 14.7 percentage points year over year, and slightly below the jam January outlook, and earnings per share, loss of 4 cents, that's down 105% year over year, they're expecting a gain of around 11 cents just before the January outlook. Overall, not very impressive at all. On the revenue front, you got to give them the flowers. They were above the guidance, but the guidance was putrid, and the numbers are putrid, down 36% year over year, even in a cyclic, like a cyclical industry. AMD, other companies are performing better. Many other semiconductor companies are performing much better. 14% decrease in gross margin, nearly 15%, and below the outlook, putrid, and turned to a loss again, absolutely putrid. Next, I want to go through this business's three key segments, Client Computing Group, Data Center and AI, and Network and Edge. Client Computing Group is the largest by revenue, or it was, and this is basically PCs. Revenue down 38% year over year, $9.3 billion to just $5.8 billion. Operating income down a massive 81%. It lost operating margin significantly from 29% to just 9% for just $500 million in operating income. Low in revenue on the reduction of the overall total addressable market and OEM inventory reductions. Low revenue, high unit costs and excess capacity charges led to decreased operating margin. Lost some economies of scale because they're just not selling as much. And there is, of course, a cyclical decline in PC sales. This is to be expected, but not quite this much. 38% that is a terrific decrease in, re in revenue. And the operating income is just absolutely brutal. Very hard to value a company when it's essentially generating no operating income. The data center and AI group, which has been under a lot of competitive pressure from other businesses in the past, and that has not really abated. Low revenue on time contraction and competitive pressure. Revenue down 39% from 6.1 billion to 3.7 billion. Now, this data center and AI, while not necessarily this year, should be an area of strength for this business. It should be growing year over year. But the competitive pressures, what they actually mean by that is they're getting pounded on by competitors. AMD and Nvidia are eating up market share in this business, particularly AMD are absolutely chewing up Intel right now. Just 3.7 billion in revenue for the quarter. Operating income, they swung to a loss, down 137%, negative 14% operating margin, a $500 million loss. That is dreadful, in my opinion. And then the network and edge group. This is the smallest of the three segments, and the revenue was down the least, just 30%. I say just 30%, that's still absolutely terrible, to $1.5 billion. Operating income down a massive 172% as the operating margin swung from 19% to a loss of 20% for a loss of $300 million. So the client computing group, which is expected to do the worst really because of the decline in PC sales, has actually done the best in terms of operating income and network and edge and data center and AI have been massive weight on this company's operating income. Of course, while these results were particularly bad in my opinion, it's not really news to anyone that Intel is a rebuilding company and that revenues are going down and operating incomes are drying up because of some cyclicality, some performance issues. What we really need to see is the outlook and their opinion on the industry. Now, they believe they're na navigating some tough macroeconomic headwinds, which is true. There's a PC inventory correction as they've expected. They're seeing continued year over year server total addressable market contraction and demand softening in network and edge. They see long term sustainable demand in. In PCs, they think uses remain strong. See their long-term addressable time increasing by approximately 300 million. Mid 20% combined annual growth rate for the server CPU cores. They see an AI tailwind here, and some of the other business units, particularly mobile, outpacing demand right now, and actually 
recorded some decent results. Not amazing compared to its valuation, but some decent results. China sentiment is all already looking stronger. Seen this in other reports. Intel mentioned it, but I did see this in the KLA report, and it does actually seem to hold some weight. This could be massive for Intel, just getting some Chinese sales in and some orders in, essentially. That could really help them. Unfortunately, the outlook for the next quarter shows no real signs of a turnaround. Revenue range of 11.5 to 12.5 billion dollars that's going to be down 22 percent year over year gross margin still very bad 37 and a half percent that's a decrease in the current quarter and it's going to be down seven seven point three percentage points year over year and they're going to be predicting the same results for earnings per share a four cent loss that's going to be down 114 percent year over year so in terms of financials, we're not really seeing any progress here. Intel is very much still in the midst of a very tough spell, and it's not looking like there's a way out. Of course, in the long term, this business has a lot of tailwinds. Eventually, this industry will come on cycle again, and Intel sales will increase. And also, there's obviously the long-term tailwinds of increased digitalization, increased requirement for semiconductors, the CHIPS Act, and increasing onshoring and deglobalization so intel has a lot of tailwinds to become the main u.s manufacturer of semiconductors however how likely that is who knows that intel can actually pull this off but of course there's a price to be paid for anything and really all prices are based off future earnings not necessarily the current earnings however it is very difficult to value this business right now it's currently trading for around 17 times cash flow where it's five year average it's around seven it's not recording the price earnings right now where it's five year average around 12 and it's price to book value in furnace is around half its five year average but this isn't really something that I would use value intel i don't think it's a very good metric in my opinion i'm really looking at that price of cash flow and over the last five years it's typically traded under 10 for pretty much every year 2019 was the highest or 2017 sorry with 9.74 2019 9 but on average 7.36 compared to 17 now it's objectively expended based on cash flow and it doesn't really seem to have a path right now other than the macroeconomic conditions getting better it doesn't seem like it has a, a path in an independent intrinsic path to becoming a stronger business in my opinion, Intel is not really an investable company right now. It's very difficult to value. I think its dividend is going to dry up because they're desperate for cash. Their inventory doesn't really seem to be making any difference. They're stuck with a lot of inventory on the balance sheet. It's a very embattled business. I don't think management is doing a particularly good job. Pat Gelsinger will definitely come under pressure soon, if not already under pressure. I just think for the price, which is essentially infinite right now, for price to earnings ratio, but for 17 times cash flow, there are just better opportunities in the semiconductor space, even with the future tailwinds of deglobalization, the CHIPS Act, just general semiconductor tailwinds, AI, etc. I think AMD is a better business. I think TSMC is a far better business at a better price. I think there's many, many other companies that are better businesses in this space. But of course, that is just my opinion. You let me know what you think of Intel's potential turnaround, what you think of the stock right now, whether you think it's a buy, sell or a hold. Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor, so your opinion is your opinion. Do your own research and due diligence, don't just buy stocks, because I say so or sell them. Like, subscribe and join the video. I'll see you again next time.